Hi everyone, welcome back. It's time that we made a, another video and an updated video about how to remove the DRMs and how to download books from Amazon Kindle. And that actually includes the new books because I was not aware until I got this comment on my previous video that it did not work on the new ones. I I, I I didn't know because I didn't have a new book that was released after April 22nd, but now I do and I have tried it and I want to share with you how you can download them and how you can remove the DRM. First off, I want you to know that the software I was using for removing DRMs on uh, older published books, uh, the ePubber Ultimate, it only works with the Kindle software 2.4.0 for the PC and Mac, I think. Don't quote me on that because I don't have one and I can't check if it's true, but yeah, that's what I think. And this version of Kindle does not support you to download new books to it then you need to update the whole kindle software for it to work this i know because i downloaded the newest version of kindle software onto my laptop and there i could actually download the newest release books uh, that was released after april 22nd but then the big issue here i can't use epubber ultimate to remove the drm on the newest books downloaded with that software because it does not work. I do hope they are working on that so it will be able in the future. I have no idea, but I do hope that. So meanwhile, I have figured out a way that works, but there's some issue to it too, but we'll get to that a bit later. So what you need for this is Caliber. So you also need the pl right plugins for it to work. And those are KFX output and the DRM. Um, I don't remember if I installed this too or, or if it was already installed, but at least those two are needed. Uh, and I also have the newest version of Caliber, so um, yeah, that, that's the one that I'm using and it has been working with it. And you also need a Kindle, a, the device. Um, you need to plug it into the PC or Mac because I think this is going to work for Mac users too. You that have some Mac, you can try it yourself just in case because I, I can't do that. So. Here we have the Kindle, and you just go into it, Documents, Downloads, Items 01, and there we have all the books you have downloaded. And um, so I, I already have my books here, the new ones that I, um, I already have copied over, and these are actually released after april 22nd and this one was released just a few days ago so the thing is you need to be copying over the folders for the respective book and these files so you can't just go in and co copy these ones without the fo folders because that won't work but um yeah i did get an error when i had copied this one though so I don't know what's up with that. This one worked flawlessly. But uh, yeah, as I got this map here, I went into it and I deleted the files. And then I got back into the Kindle device. And um, let's see. I copied over a few of them at a time and that worked. So then I didn't get an error, so um, yeah, that's how I did it. So now everything is here, and same for the other one. So what you're going to do is you are now able to 
import these in Calibre and it should work. The only issue we get from doing this is that the cover will not be colored. Yeah, that's right. They will be black and white. I don't know um, how that comes, but yeah, that's that's how it is. And then you just, you know, convert books, convert individually. KFX to EPUB or whatever, I guess. And uh, just like so. It's a few seconds, of course. And there, there you have it, EPUB format. So just save to disk. Yeah, this is the uh, desktop and just saving it. And here it is, it's, cr it's creating another folder. So just go into it. Oops. And there you have it. And you can just open it up and start reading with uh, whatever software you're using. Yeah, so you see, now you can actually download newly released books. And uh, yeah. Remove the DRM and do whatever you want. Though I um I guess any e-reader from Kindle does work, except for Kindle Fire. That one won't work. That's what I um read at least. And I bought a, a Kindle just to uh, just to try this. I didn't have one before because I was planning on using a pocketbook, which I want to buy, the color one, <laughs> but, I, but I guess I will buy it in the future, so eventually I will have to. But yeah, that's, uh, that's literally how you, how you do it, you just, you just drag and drop. And this one was released in May the 20th, I think. And, uh, yeah. It just works. It's awesome. It's great. But if you do want the colored um, covers, I guess you could change the me metadata. If that's the case, I'm not sure. But yeah, I guess so. And it should be working like a charm. Yeah, see? Works perfect. So that's how we do it. Oh, by the way, you can use the EPUB or Ultimate to do this as well. Remove the DRM on new books. Uh, depending on if the software is recognizing your Kindle device when you plug it in and you have um, you need to uh, fill in the uh, serial number of your Kindle uh, in the settings but for me that didn't work and I also think that's an issue on on Mac if I'm not mistaken so this is the way that really works but uh, if you have that software, you can always try and see if it recognizes your Kindle. Other than that, you can just do this. But I do hope they are working on an updated version of the software. So we at least can get our books with colored covers if you want to. But yeah, that's just a minor, minor issue. It really doesn't mean a lot, I think. But yeah, for the fun of it, I guess. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you will have a good day and happy reading.